What's good guys? Welcome back to a brand new banger. I'm not sure how to do this. Why am I here? Um Nah I'm playing, I definitely know why I'm here. Because I'm fucking amazing, I'm awesome, and I'm unique, I'm collective, I'm one of a kind, pretty general, pretty ironic, you know, pretty unspoken. I speak and it's always greatness. Yeah. Hope everybody's taking care of themselves, feeling amazing as always. So, I think like, um, this drum straight into it, I think like two, probably like a day ago or two, I was kind of feeling like, um, just listening to some old like X songs, and I'm like, damn, like really? It was like, um, like who has my back? There's no one there. Like nobody really, cares nobody really cares until like you're doing something you know what i'm saying like nobody really cares unless they can see you doing something and then it's just like all right boom you start to build that bond or whatever and then you feel like but you know deep down nobody don't really care you just gotta it's really about you at the end of the day it's really about what you want to become what you're going to stand up for where you're gonna show, where you're gonna give out, that energy that you're gonna put out to improve, to grow and, how do you say it? You love right? No, I look, I loops, you like, I just can't say how you said it. Ella loops, elevate, ella loops. But it's sort of about just um, maturing in your own mindset. And I just feel like, Every point, everybody, regardless, bro, everybody's going to feel that way. Everybody's going to feel at some point in their life like they're just like super, you know, alone. Nobody's there. Nobody really cares. Or I hate people and people don't, you know what I'm saying? I hate being around people, yada, yada, yada. But <clears throat> I just feel like it's just a phase. It's just a phase that everybody's gonna, it's gonna come across your brain at some point in time. You're gonna feel a little, you know what I'm saying? But just like that, like when I was going through that, that feeling, that emotion, it was like, I'll never dwell on it for like more than 15, 15, 10 minutes. And then I'm good. Like I'm straight good. Cause it's like, Knowing who I am, what I bring to the table, what I value, how I treat myself as a person, what I expect other people to be, the type of power and um, creativity, the type of enlightenment on your brain. I hate that. <laughs> the type of like, the type of power that we hold as humans, as multidimensional beings, is just like, it's just like, it's just super expandable, bro. So it's just like, come oh, on. I got I got to like, do a little something. This is just like some, um, some Vaseline. It smells mad good though. Hold up, I can't, I look looking all glossy. Also, the shave is crazy. It's the first of the month. I brush my teeth and count up. But anyway, I was debating on shaving my face. I didn't know like half shave and I was like, bro, like that just look crazy. And I was like, y'all look so young. I look like a little baby. That was cool as hell, man. But yeah, back to what I was talking about. Um, so this, this power, this type of like, I don't know. So I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you like, yeah, no matter what it is, no matter where you are, you're on the right path. No matter what it is, it's just like, you have to take that step forward and keep going. And like, you're gonna get them thoughts. You're gonna get them negative thoughts. It's gonna come over. You're gonna start thinking about the past. It's gonna start thinking. But don't dwell on them forever. Like, you can always break yourself free. You can always step in another timeline where you realize the bigger picture and you're gonna be happy again. This is not forever. Like, 
these moments are only like super temporary and it's just like bro like that's what i'm saying like mm. you can't be really afraid to post the bad stuff too people go through like yeah we all love the good stuff but the bad stuff is just like this is a reality it's a reality it gives people comfort and it was just like um not just comfort because some people yeah i mean it's not you don't you don't want to just post like bad shit because then people gonna feel like um probably just probably try bad talk you and this and that that's that's the thing that people get mixed up because you don't never know if somebody got going through in their lives but what i was gonna say in general yo i just can't i can't with myself i can't when i shave my face i can't take it it feels unreal <laughs> like back this back up back up camera's too close man but i think uh when i was feeling that type of way just uh towards myself it really it kind of felt good in a way like it wasn't like no super like all right i'm just down bad and out like not crazy but you know it's a little moment where i'm like ah damn i wish it could have been a little better but i'm still i'm here living breathing you know what i'm saying I got a roof over my head i'm i'm grateful for it all and the experience we came so far bro do you know what was do you know what it was like in 2018 2018 was the most craziest year for me, bro. Y'all talking about 2020. Oh, the virus, this and that. And like 2018 was just like, it was a dope ass experience. It was a dope ass experience for real, for real. And like, that's kind of, kind of really just like pushed me to, you know become a greater ver a even more greater version of myself and i know we're like every day every day we're just like we're still growing we're still evolving but it's just like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because They're just kind of like memories, right? Memories. You know what? Let's say it didn't matter. Not the year. Not the year. The year doesn't matter. Like, oh, it's 2018 or it's 2020. Or maybe it's 2030. But, like, what matters is, like, we as a collective or we as a people going through that emotion simulation like do you know how wavy now let's talk about my boy x right without xxx tentacion without him bringing in that big spiritual awakening for most people to be like yo life can actually be great like what are we doing type shit so it's just like he kind of pushed that that awakening on people where it's like yo i actually want to do better i want i want to go outside so it's just like fastest ways to heal yeah going out dancing exercising meditating you know moving your body getting it off you like sometimes that negative energy kind of lingers around the room and you just be in a house and you be wondering like bro like why do i feel this way bro Step outside, actually give yourself some air, go breathe, listen to some great music. You're gonna you're gonna jump straight out of that mood, like straight out of that mood. It doesn't even take too long. Like I actually did this a couple of times. I'll step outside and I'll just be like, wait a minute, it's not gone yet. Start moving around, like I start really just like moving around and I'm like, wow, it changed and then out of nowhere I'll probably bump into somebody and then I'll hear a conversation and it'll, it'll relate to me in a way or somehow or maybe I'll like start talking to somebody and then boom, my whole energy just shifted out of that negative mindset because it's just like I'm training my body. I'm training my body to my body and my mind physically, mentally and spiritually because like 
I'm at a point where I can't brag now. I can't give y'all all too much sauce. You know what I'm saying? I really got, I really got a lot of, but I'm at a good, I'm at a good point where it's just like, I want to see people do better. I, I wish people can have that mindset that I have. I really do. I truly do. Because my mindset is so fucking advanced, bro. It's like, it's like I see people, I, I can see you doing dumb shit before you do the dumb shit. And I'm just like, bro, like, it's not even, it's not worth it, bro. Cause it's like, if I can see that, I can also see a timeline where you do, when you doing good shit. And this is where people get me misunderstood, misconfused. Cause when I start jumping into that timeline where I actually vision this person on such a greater scale that they can't even see themselves on, they take it as some type of like, it's too good to be true. There's no possible way. And they start self-doubting and they're just like, you know what? I'd rather stick to this because, you know, it's comfortable. I've been doing it, I'm here, but nah. Nah, bro. I'm just gonna have to let this light out. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna have to let people know. Like, I can't hold back my tongue. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm still gonna have to let you know how great you are. I'm still gonna have to, like, push you to really, like, step inside that even greater concept of yourself. And that's the coolest part about me, I think. Like, I think I love... I love to give people, yeah, I think I love to give people that, that chance where it's just like, yo, like, how could you not see the possibility and greatness in you? Like, yes, you're a god. You're a goddess. You know, for my females out there, yes, you are. You're fucking beautiful as shit. Amazing, talented. And for my men out there, bro, it's like, yo, when you get out of that, survival meant that survival state of mind or like you know you've been hurt the world's out there to get you this is a you know guys females whatever you want to call it everybody goes through it at some point some people grow from it some people wake up some people decide to stay in it and dwell on it for too long and it gets stuck in it but it's just like two scales of the perspective right two scales of the perspective Positive, negative, right? Chicka, 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 chicka. Boom. So it's like, which one, which one are you gonna choose? And it's not a bad thing, bro. It's not a bad thing to have a little negative, like a little uh, negative. I'm not saying you gotta be 100% positive. I'm not saying Oh, you got to do everything the righteous way and yada, yada. You got to do things your way. You got to do things your way to figure out which way is the right way. Now, now don't get, don't get it confused now. I'm not talking about no, a psycho. Like, oh, maybe you turn into a psycho and you started killing your pet chickens and your, your little pet duckies and... You felt this good feeling from it. Hey. That's you? I don't know what to tell you right there. I don't know what to tell you right there. That's a little, that's a little something. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't possibly do that though. I just felt like even from that experience, if a person did that, I'm pretty sure, like, pay attention to the the repercussion after it. Pay attention to, like, the signs that the universe throw at you from doing that. Is it a good experience or is it a bad experience? A lot of people don't know, like, all right, it maybe wasn't the best idea. That maybe probably wasn't the best explanation for it but it's just like pay attention to like what how your body feels how your intuition feels if he's like yo get up be active 
move around that's your mind telling you like yo you gotta do something like you gotta make this happen no matter what you gotta pop out you gotta do something to enlighten your mood nobody loves to be stuck in a house doing the same thing over and over and over the thing is bro there's really some cool ass people out here on this planet and we can find them we can also can learn from them we can grow from them we can also it's it's actually cool people here like that ass i'm i know it 100 percent fact like but it's like you can't close off your mind because you're in a survival state where it's like ah, i don't even like people like that you know what i'm saying i've been hurt before this happened to me in the past and it's just like now you're bringing this on to this next person without even giving them a chance to really express themselves and like open up a little bit but yeah and even if there isn't that cool person that is around or you haven't found that cool person that just means that cool person is you and you haven't discovered yourself yet fully like you know you know you're there you know you got what it takes you know how hard you work behind the scenes but it's just like how far are you willing to go to become that cool ass person bro like that best version of self this is not a rush this is not no yo first one to the finish line we went in this is your journey and life bro and this life thing is not it's a game but it's not really a game I sound crazy now how long you think but it's a game to where like you want to have fun in it you know what I'm saying you don't want to always be stuck up where it's just like you can't really n learn to maneuver in your own energy and still be you know cool calm collective and shit like that but like uh, 17, I got like 20, so I'll put a little 20 timer on there. What else happened then? Greatness, man. So, uh, yeah, I kind of woke up today and, um, I was like, yo, it's the first of the month. I don't know what came over me, but I'm like, I'm gonna shave my face. And I did it, shaved it, and I gave myself a little reminder. It's just like, yo, when I wake up in the morning, when I look in that mirror and I see this shaved face, and I'm like, eh, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of sexy at the same time, because I be feeling myself, I ain't even gonna lie. I look in the mirror, I be kind of like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> But like, it's just a little something, something. Everybody should feel that way. Um, and also I said like, I want to stop. Uh, probably give my little toxic addictions a break. Now we jumping back into that season. So we're, we're heading out of that, that season where like, all right, the new year is there. We experienced that. We still want to become great. I never feel like I was like really like a heavy, heavy smoker or whatever like that. I just can do it when I feel like it. I don't know why, but to just keep going back and forth, like to just never stop. Like, oh, this is the wave. This is like that bitch ain't the wave. They lying to you, bro. Like this shit is not the wave. It's 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 like a temporarily. Like, you'll feel that happy. It's a, all right, it's a happy meter, right? This is a real, this is real right here. Little 30 second recap, brother. This is the hot, this is the happy meter, right? Boom, this is your normal state of happy meter. This is the high state of happy meter. Boom, it's right there, but it's just a boost. It's an instant boost just to stay right there, but you'll never jump to that extra just, just a natural happy high that you have i 
you will see what I mean. Like, it takes a little time. I feel like if you detox, it take a little time to get there. Probably after that four, three day mark when you're like feeling like, uh, yada, yada, yada. But it's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. It's an insta vibe when you feel with yourself and stuff like that. Um, I'll break it short terms. It's not, and that shit ain't healthy. That shit ain't really like always healing your body or you, you really running from pain. Nah, it's just an addiction. You just feel like you're addicted. But yeah, some people, they really feel like they need to escape the pain. If you've gone through something super traumatic and you feel like you need to, you know, go ahead. Do what you gotta do. But I'm just putting you on like, um, that's really not it, bro. The, be careful with the dispensaries and stores and stuff. If it's not homegrown, it's crazy too. You know what I'm saying? They be spraying stuff over that. That's to be DNA. You acting a little bit more than, you know what I'm saying? You can definitely peep the vibes. It's not what it's all cracked up to be. Oh, I got bored of it. La bird. Close your third eye too, bro. Couldn't dream. I'm doing that. And I'm like, bro, like what happened to all my good dreams, bro? Like my dreams was just back to back, just like like lit. Like I'd be traveling, be moving, be having fun, I'd be seeing things, be learning. You know what I'm saying? I'd be going out. It's your boy be, you know, it's 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 lit when you when you have a dream and stuff like that, you know, like, all right, okay, okay, cool. Now, drinking-wise, nah. I never liked it when I was younger. I was just talking about the taste. I was just tasting it. I was like, Ugh. Mom probably tried to pass me a little sip of her cup. Then I'm like, yo, you like this? Nasty, like, I can't stand that, like. That I'm looking at it. now I'm getting like a little older and I'm just like really they named it alcohol something you rub on cuts <laughs> you drink it not that's crazy something you fix but hey that's what the party people does out here man what you want God you want to turn up you know what I'm saying like we human beings you know what I'm saying turn up have fun do what you gotta do drink it just nah cause like kills your spirituality I just personally, me, never got anything. I can't really see myself getting anything done at all. I can't work straight. I'll start to stumble and spill things, get a little clumsy. Now, if I'm just absolute chilling on an island somewhere, you know, sitting at a beach, hey, probably have a little sip or two. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? But, Nah, it's not good for you though. That's that's absolutely pork belly and skin. Too much of that. I don't even know how people get addicted to drinking. That's crazy in my mind, but uh You know, it's fun after a while, but like the hangovers and like ah uh, What is a hang bro, hangover is crazy. So, um, I hope I gave you guys some inspiration to, you know, really tap in, tune in with yourself, become that journey, become that, that positive influence of light that you have always been. And don't ever hold or dim down your light because you got it. You got it in you. And I want you to really, really wake up and see this greatness that we're here every day. Don't ever give up on yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you need a few days to, you know, recruit, regenerate. As human beings, we all work and process differently. Now, yeah, that's really about it. Love you all. Hope you have an amazing one. Thanks for tuning in with your boy live. You already know who it is. It's you. It's your boy XX Robbie. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.